An emergency room encounters 386,000 cases of dog bites every year, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. That's insane, right? Pitbull, German Shepherd, Rottweiler have already got a bad reputation for biting people, but a new breed has just made an addition to the team of bad rap dogs. Merritt Clifton, the editor of Animal People, made a report to rank the deadliest bites of dog breeds based on the total attacks done by dogs registered as pets from 1982 to 2009 in the U.S. and Canada. So, we have picked out the top seven deadliest dog breeds whose bites have caused the highest number of human deaths of all. But before we start, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post our new video. Let's start with number seven, Doberman. An aggressive Doberman is potentially dangerous due to its size. The breed was initially created for personal security and Dobermans are instinctively protective. So probably, his aggression is steamed by its instinctive desire to warn the people which resulted in eight child victims, six adult victims attack, seven maimings, and six deaths. They weren't lucky enough to escape the bite force of 305 PSI. Number six is Chow Chow. Don't get fooled by his fluffy teddy bear look. Chow Chow has been struggling with its aggression issues since they were created, although it can be avoided by positive socializing at a very early stage. Chow Chow's has 220 PSI bite force and are very aggressive towards other dogs of the same sex and their hunting instinct can take over their cuteness anytime if they are in front of a small dog or cat. That's why 35 child victims, 14 adult victims, 34 maimings attacks, and seven deaths have been registered. Number five is Bull Mastiff. Well, Bull Mastiff is known to be a protective kind of breed for those that is guarding, especially if they are children. But bad training and irresponsible breeding can lead to an aggressive and dangerous dog, which is not at all suitable for homes with small kids. With a bite force of 305 PSI, it is accused of 17 child victims, 20 adult victims, and 26 maiming attacks with eight death cases. Number four is the German Shepherds. According to the article published in Forbes.com, German Shepherds are the third most dangerous American dog breed. With a bite force of 238 PSI, German Shepherd holds the second place after the Rottweiler. They are a highly protective and loyal dog and had been in situations where they have hurt the other kids to protect their family kids. And that is why 52 child victims 20 adult victims, and 50 maiming attacks with nine deaths have been registered in the U.S. Number three is Siberian Husky. Yeah, these adorable fluffy balls as puppies can easily convince people to choose them as a family dog. But an extensive study shows that they are one of the most likely dangerous breeds to cause death and severe injuries to humans. 32 child victims, four adult victims, and 13 maiming attacks have been registered till date. They have a tremendous bite force of about 320 PSI, but for a fact, only 130 PSI is sufficient to break a human arm for them. So, with 17 registered deaths, they have made it to the third place on our list. Number two is Rottweiler. Rottweilers are one of the fiercest dog breeds. Back in 1997, a report showed that over the past years, Rottweilers were responsible for 29 deaths, and that was the second highest fatality count for any dog breed. That's how they started to be known as killer dogs. With one of the strongest bite force at 328 PSI, they have been accused of 257 child victims, 157 adult victims, and 244 maimings. With the number of 67 human deaths only in the U.S. makes them the deadliest dog breed. And number one is American Pitbull Terrier. With the bite force of 235 PSI, they might have secured the third place in the strongest biting breed, but they have ranked number one in our list of the deadliest bite of deadly dogs with the 284 deaths reported registered only in the U.S. by far. There is no other breed which is inherently dangerous than Pitbull because violence is in their DNA, no matter how they are treated. They are known to turn on other animals or humans, even ones they are raised with. There have been 661 child victims, 519 adult victims, and 819 maimings, which shows that if you have kids in your family and they like to keep it rough, then Pitbull is not at all a good choice to pet with kids. 
That's it. I hope you like it and surely gonna share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.